What's up, YouTube? Yes, look where we are at right now. So, the metal work has finished. I'm going to make a video and just point it at the car so you guys can see what I'm talking about, all right? This is the buggy that I'm building with my friend Rit. It was at a metal workshop um, to be able to fit the batteries on either side. So you can see over there and you can see here. As well as fit the motor in the compartment here where the uh, gas engine used to be. All right. So some things I'm going to talk about here that I like and I don't like. Obviously, <laughs> you can see the quality of this machine. It's not the best quality. Yes, you see all the rust and stuff. What is my objective with this little buggy? Well, this will be a showpiece of performance and beauty. Oh, imagine that beauty. Looking like this right now. Yeah, it will be beautiful. I will explain. Okay, so what have we done so far? These battery cells um, have uh, a lot more energy than the ones that I installed in the go-kart. These are slightly longer, so there's several cells more there. It's 60 volts and 50 amp hours, and we've got four of them. So two of them connected make 120 volts, and we got them also a double range so we increase the amber hours capacity so we have more range as well as less stress when we pull power from the mo from the batteries we pull power through this controller here this is also a voto controller uh, but it comes with this motor okay so this is the golden motor that is um one side here, one side of this is 5 kilowatts and then we have the other side which is another 5 kilowatt. So the motor is actually separated from right to left. So we have two different uh, stators that work together here. And when we combine these two straight to the controller, that will output 10 kilowatts. The controller is capable of 600 amps max current and 350 amps continuous current which is a lot of power for a lightweight vehicle like this this is the cooling duct that we'll have i will explain the cooling system in a second um, why we situated it here i had to cut off the standard pole the standard structure and then add a support to install the motor that is tr what I tried to explain to the metal worker, but he kind of made a mistake. Uh, I'm not sure you can see here, but if you look straight, the motor is slanted slightly. Yes, yeah, so um, a different modification will happen. This is just for testing purposes. Uh, once everything's connected, then we just you know test drive it, see if it works, all of this. It's actually very noisy right now if we pull now. Yes, so it is quite noisy. So what I'm going to do is, see this strut over here? We're going to get um, a high-powered high golf cart and have the differential instead of a chain here. So it's going to be straight pipes with a differential and it will look more like a vehicle. <laughs> um, just outside, yes? Let's talk about cooling. You can see these triangular shapes here yes and one on this side triangular shape what I will do is I need cooling this is essential especially for something high power like this it's very essential in Thailand if you've seen my blog posts on you Facebook or you've seen my YouTube videos you know that cooling in Thailand is necessary the zero overheated within two minutes of hard riding the Suran overheats can charge so what we need with this especially the high power that it delivers is cooling so what we have is we will design a radiator that fits this gap in a triangle shape 
I don't think you've seen many tr triangular shaped radiators, eh? There'll be another one here. The, there'll be a single pump right here in the middle. And it will run through both, through the batteries, through the controller, through these battery modules, and then over here in the motor and then come back. And um, the pump is, it, the system will look kind of like a computer cooling system, but more powerful basically, yeah. How are we gonna cool? Well, here we have this one. See here, poop, and then over here, poop. So this is behind the controller, this metal plate. Uh, I think they called it, what was it? A um, water cooling plate, something like that. And this water cooling plate will have additional one here between the modules, and then another one over there as well. Yes, and as well the cooling will go through the motor as well. And that will allow, um, you know, efficient cooling of everything. It's the most important in my opinion. The pump will be using about 5 amps, uh, running constantly and keeping the system cool at 26 degrees Celsius. That is my target. Okay, so now let's talk about the brakes. We have some brakes here. Um, and two front brakes. These will change in the front. I will be using Honda Civic front disc brakes and um, basically the system here will be like a real car type of brake system instead of these tiny little brakes that are there. Let me show you. Very very tiny. Don't like them. Uh, you've seen my go-kart video when the brakes fails. <laughs> I don't want that to happen at <laughs> in this power right so then we will have uh, a big big brake pump here in the front not this old one it will be a bit bigger a brand new one and uh, automotive grade no vacuum pump it's um, maybe unnecessary for a vacuum pump I will have to test it out make sure <laughs> yes hope I don't die <laughs> Yeah. Then we have the shocks here. All four shocks, front and back, they are very old and you can't open them to refurbish them. So they're gone. Uh, it's a very wobbly system. I'll show you right now. If we do this, okay, you just, it just goes doing, 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 doing. <laughs> So these suspension modules will be changed, but not now. First, you know, we want everything connected, everything running. Then the seat will be refurbished, it will be proper racing seat. And, you know, new color, new foam. The steering wheel will be also changed because we have this here. And it's very old and the turning radius is terrible. So we want something with a higher turning radius. The steering wheel must turn 360 degrees. So this part has to go around 360 degrees and around again 360 degrees. In order to be able to make sharper turns and more direct steering. So that whole linkage will be changed. Over here we'll have a display. That will show all the parameters like the cooling, temperature, what else we got, range, battery percentage, sport mode, eco mode, region on off, all of this will be on the display. We are running a cable system just like the go-kart over here. So this will be your acceleration, you can see it spin. Rims and tires will be changed and this is just for testing purposes of course. Okay, so now the next part I want to talk about is the rear. So we'll, this is the first phase, testing phase. The next one will be the differential, as I said. But I really want an independent suspension system. I don't want this weight in the back. But if it still runs nicely and efficiently, then okay, maybe I'll just keep it as is save some costs 
in terms of beautification oh my goodness so what I'm planning is if you guys have ever seen the Renault Twizy F1 yes kind of similar so it's gonna have like a F1 panels here so it's gonna be like oof, like this you know like racing style also over there then we'll have some nice panel here we'll have a windshield over here panels on the top we'll have the mirrors um, above the line here so then we can see through because if we have it below we can't see through everything is in the way so if we have the mirrors on the top here now we can see through see we can see that way instead of see nothing here we just see a pole yes so that's gonna happen and everything will be beautiful on this vehicle I want to make it into a showroom vehicle so that I can be eligible to go to a motor show and showcase technology motor shows they always advertise themselves as innovation of the year well zero innovation they always sell the same garbage same 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 every time zero innovation what you need is something like this innovation in addition to this we'll have the charger over here all right and the charger will be two different uh, mode levels you can charge it from any plug or you can charge it from an AC fa fast charging station, level 2 basically. But it's more than enough for this type of vehicle. You don't need DC station, you just need the AC 22 kilowatt. Boom, you got fast charging. These battery cells can handle it no problem. That's right, because they're automotive Cat L cells. I'm thinking about doors, maybe not. Yes or no, what do you guys think? Should I put some doors over here? Like, you know, bam. You know, knee, knee. Or maybe, you know, flip open like that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Design, design, design. What do you guys think? What should we do with doors? Should we have any doors? The purpose of this vehicle, like I said, showroom and fun. Will I go off-road? I'm not an off-road professional. I have no idea how to drive off-road. I've never driven a buggy before. <laughs> so I'm not sure, you know, what to expect. I'm definitely going to test it off-road, but we'll see what happens. Whoa! Big rain! Oh my goodness. Alright guys. Oh, it was raining really hard and kind of ruined my video. My phone isn't waterproof, the Samsung Z Flip. And so kind of had to wait out the, the rain because over here is the roof and it's really noisy. So yeah, kind of slowed down now. Now you can definitely hear me. All right, so here is the buggy. So I was explaining some of the things I was gonna do over there, but we had to move it back in. I just wait out the rain. I will talk about the technical information right now. So for those of you that are not interested, skip this part. I will be talking about the voltage, the amp hours, and what it means in kilowatts. So like I said, the motor is 10 kilowatts, right? Uh, with the dual stator. And then we have the 120 volts. How is it 120 volts? Well, uh, it's 15 in series, 15 cells in series, so they're capable of 4.2 volts, but I don't want to do 4.2 volts, I will do about 4.1 or 4.15, something like that. So to, all together it will become 123 volts, all together we have 100 amp hours worth of energy density, so that calculates to the total kilowatt hour being 12 kilowatt hours. And this will give the 600 amp max peak power and 350, 350 amps continuous power. This means that this motor at continuous power will be 40 kilowatts and peak power will be at 70 kilowatts around that mark. This also means that my charger unfortunately 
I can use the AC stations whether it's the 6 kilowatt station or the 22 kilowatt station it doesn't matter because the maximum output of the charger will be 4.8 um, kilowatts so that means that um, if you want to charge this vehicle it will be about two and a half hours to charge it up something like that of course I will not go zero percent down you know I'll probably drive this buggy about 20% to 80% that means we're looking at about an hour worth of charge it doesn't matter if I use the AC stations I can just plug into a wall and it will still be the same output but of course I have to make sure that the wall is capable of minimum 16 amps like that that will be this one uh, the buggy then we will talk about the Suron it's all the way back there I don't want to go there because the roof is making like dripping noise and it's really noisy so you won't be able to hear me so I'll just hang out here um, 72 volts 40 amp hours the charger will be 72 or 40 amp hours too so we're looking at an hour full charge however if we use the AC station we're looking at a 30 minute charge so that's pretty fast in my opinion so back to the other me before the rain there you go all right some other things I want to mention here we will have a different type of steering wheel so it's going to be a quick release steering wheel like a formula one car so you zip and it comes off as well as we'll have paddle shifters on the left and on the right and this will be the region paddle shifter so we will have minus 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 plus 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 and uh, three different levels of region a function here a little button as well as on this side if you press both at the same time then you have um, the booster yes booster mode power mode <laughs> There will be an eco and sport mode, but this will be like a booster mode here on the steering wheel. That is my plan. I just want it like that. I want paddle shifters. It's just more convenient and I like using regen, you know, it's very, very, uh, um, it's not just about efficiency, but also like, it just feels better like that with paddle shifters over here. Zip, 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 zip. Yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen on this car. All right, so that's it for the buggy. Let me show you one more thing, bonus for you guys. Here is the bonus. Yeah, so done. Remove the stock battery, everything is removed. Now we are just about to connect everything. So we need to make sure that the lock of the key and the DC DC and the USB work with the DC DC converter. Then we have our display. This display will be similar to the buggy. Then we have our battery tower. It's currently still not in a case. It's just, we just fit it. We wanna see where the strap is and where the box will be. The strap will need a plate under the battery because right now the way we pull it, we're pulling on one cell, you know? So that gives a lot of pressure and stress on that cell every time you pull it out of the case. Yeah. Other than that, I sit in it. Okay, you guys can see I'm sitting in it. Totally does not obstruct me. Nothing. Like when you're gonna ride like this, nothing. <laughs> I got so much space. So it doesn't obstruct my my riding experience at all. Um, people on Facebook have been doing long towers with the different cells. And yes, it does look weird. There's no case, but it does look weird. But once we have the, the cover, boop, and everything, then it should look just normal. But in terms of riding experience, it doesn't take away anything. Yeah, so the Suron is almost done. Just a few programming tweaks and cable connections. In addition, we got this throttle. The stuck throttle of Suron it seems to get stuck every time so when you give throttle you let go 
but it's like stuck a little bit. So you just have you have to manually push it because it kind of dries out over here. So it's not um, very durable, I would say, like that. So this is a Kawasaki motorcycle Tuaro, which you know it's designed for big bikes. It's designed for much more twists and turns. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have big motorcycle grade um, components. I will also change the brake systems to a big, to a motorcycle grade. This is because you know it's gonna go faster. So I definitely need the braking power. Well, one thing I want to show you, I have the switch, I can't find it right now, but it's going to have three buttons here, okay? So it's going to have Eco, Sport, and then a Regen button. So every time you're riding, you press the brake, Not there's no Regen, but, oh, I see the red lights, okay. Regen. 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 Yes, you remember my song? Then we have Eco and sport on the top here no turn signals although the light i installed before that over here does have integrated turn signals i'll think about turn signals first i want to finish and ride it that's the most important part finishing and riding and this charger will also have the same system range won't matter anymore even though with this battery if i'm going 80 kilometers per hour I will get about 80 kilometers range, which is 30 more than the previous stock battery. That's right, guys, that's right. All right, so here is something else you guys would like to see. Look at this bad boy. Huh? 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 You like? You like? I like? You like? I like? How much? <laughs> Notice the motor, same as my motor. Battery will be here. Still under construction. This is not my project, it's somebody else's project. Yeah, somebody who has a lot of money to donate this type of motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> this will be something. Alright guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Finally, we're gonna be riding when we finish this run. Bye, peace out.